Online privacy is more important than ever. And one of the best ways to protect it is by using a VPN. But the problem with traditional VPNs is that they have to be installed and configured on every device. So you need to manage logins, apps, and connections manually. And if one device forgets to connect, it won't be using the VPN, even if you think it is. But what if you didn't have to do that? What if your Unify router could handle the VPN connection itself and automatically route traffic through it, whether it's for specific devices or entire VLANs? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that step by step. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is you have to purchase some sort of a VPN subscription. I've used NordVPN in the past. Currently, I am using ProtonVPN here. Overall, I am not a VPN expert. There are better and worse ones depending on exactly what you're looking for, but ProtonVPN has worked well for me. So I'll leave links to a few in the description, but overall pick one that you're gonna be happy with because this is what you'll be using to connect. So inside of ProtonVPN, you have to go to the download section. Now it's gonna be slightly different depending on exactly what you're using and depending on if you're using WireGuard or OpenVPN. So WireGuard is a little easier, and in my experience, a little more performant, and it doesn't have a login credential, so that makes it even better. But some people prefer OpenVPN, it's totally up to you. So inside of the download section, there is a WireGuard configuration section. So I'm just going to give it the name Unify here. I'm gonna select the platform as router, and then you have a few VPN options. Now overall, you can set it to be no filter, block if you want, it's kind of up to you. Same with these settings, I'd recommend keeping the VPN accelerator on, it just makes it a little faster. And then at that point, it selects a server for you. And really that's all you have to do. Now with that said, there are options down here for specific VPN locations. And if you wanna use any of them, you can. Overall, I'm not going to do that. I just wanna use whatever is going to be the absolute fastest one. And generally that's the one that's closest to you. So I'm just gonna use the option they suggest here and then I'm gonna select create. As soon as I do that, I will be brought to the text for this VPN configuration file. Now there's one possible important change that you have to make here. 10.2.0 is a subnet that I am currently using. For that reason, I can't use it. If I was to go on the Unify side and try and import this as is, it would throw an error that I'm currently using that subnet. So you have to make sure that you're using a subnet that you're not currently using on your router. Now I can't change that here, unfortunately. So what you have to do is you have to download the file and then after it's downloaded, you can edit it with a text editor. So what I'm gonna do is I just came in here and changed 10.2 to 10.55. You might have to use something different. You might not have to change it at all. As soon as that's done, you can save it. Now on the Unify side, if you were to go to the settings and then VPN as well as VPN client, you will be brought to all of your VPN clients. Now OpenVPN, NordVPN, this is what I used with NordVPN. I had it a while ago, it worked fine for me, but again, I'm not a VPN expert. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new VPN client. So as soon as we do that, what we can do is give it a name. So this is ProtonVPN and we're using WireGuard. If you were using OpenVPN, you would get a configuration file that you could upload here, and then you generally have to get credentials that you can use. WireGuard's a little different because the credentials are built in, but you can use OpenVPN if you want. So I'm gonna go back to WireGuard, and then I'm gonna upload that file. And with that file uploaded, what you'll see is that just about everything was imported, and our tunnel IP is 10.55. So that's exactly what I need for my setup. As soon as that's done, there's really nothing more that we have to do here. So we can apply these changes. And then about five seconds later, this changed to connected. So what we can do at this point is we can move on to the next step, which is creating policy routes for this. So inside of the policy engine and then policy-based routes, what we can do is we can create a policy-based route that will basically determine exactly what on your network will automatically use this VPN client. So we can create a new entry, and then I'm just going to call this Proton VPN. But then what you'll see here is that you have a few options. So the first thing that we have to select is that Proton VPN client that we created. This is what will automatically route that traffic through the VPN client. So the next thing here is this switch option right here. And what this does is it says basically that if the VPN client was to go down, 
the internet would not work at all. That ensures basically that if the VPN client is up, traffic will work. If the VPN client goes down for whatever reason, traffic will stop working. Based on your requirements, that will determine if you keep this on or off. I'm gonna keep it on, but it's up to you. Next is the source. So if you wanted to route all of your traffic at all times through the VPN, you can leave this as any. I feel like most people aren't going to do that. So you're probably going to use device slash network. Now what's powerful about this is that you'll see all of these VLANs here. And in a second, I'm gonna talk through how you can kind of set this up in your home network. But for testing purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this for my trusted VLAN. That's what I'm currently connected to. So I'm going to do that. And then the final option here we have is the destination. I'm gonna do it for everything. So before we do that, I'm going to show you how this works. So this right here is my current IP address, my current external IP address. So it's basically my ISP's IP address that they gave to me. What we're going to do is come back to this policy route and then we're going to add it. Now what this is doing is it's basically saying anything for the trusted VLAN, which this device is connected to, should go out through this VPN client here. And if we come back here and we refresh this, what you'll see is that we're now connected to the VPN client. So all of the traffic for that trusted VLAN, wired and wireless devices, is automatically going through that VPN client. And from a privacy perspective, as long as you trust ProtonVPN or whatever VPN client you decide to use, all of that traffic will be routed through them. So let's talk through a few ways that you could use this. The first thing, if you had a specific device that you wanted to route through it, meaning individual devices, you can do that. You can come in here, select the exact device that you want to route through it, and it would automatically route that traffic only through it. And you can use multiple devices here, as well as subnets, so it will be in a list, so you can have one policy for all of them. Next would be one of the popular things people like to do, is they'll come in here and they will create a new VLAN for this. They'll apply the changes. You could have basically whatever you want here. And then you can come in here and create a new Wi-Fi network with that specific VLAN. So then what you're saying is every single time you connect to that Wi-Fi SSID, the traffic will automatically be routed out through Proton VPN. This allows you to basically bounce back and forth between the SSID you're normally connected to and the SSID that automatically routes through uh, your VPN provider. Just make sure that you configure the policy route to then use that VLAN so that that traffic is routed out through it. Now, like I said earlier, the VPN provider that you determine that you wanna use might be slightly different on the setup side, mainly when you're getting that configuration file, either through WireGuard or OpenVPN. But as soon as you do, everything on the Unify side is the exact same. Basically just set up the VPN client, set up the policy-based route, and at that point, all the traffic for whatever devices or VLANs you specify will go out over that VPN tunnel. So, I hope you got some value out of this. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. But other than that, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.